Mornings are always super chaotic and stressful. Let me simplify your morning routine with three simple and easy baranta recipes or Indian flatbreads. These also pack really well. So if you need recipes for lunch boxes and for traveling, try these as well. The first one is a dal baranta made from, you guessed it, dal. So usually what we do is we use leftover dal and to that I will add atta or whole wheat flour along with some salt, red chili powder, and some ghee or clarified butter. You could also add oil. Many times I've just added a little avocado oil. This just helps to ensure a smooth, soft dough. And you usually never need water for making dal parantas. If you do, feel free to add it, but add it little by little. Once you have a soft, smooth dough, I like to let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'll take small pieces of the dough and roll it out to a medium thin consistency. And I like to roll out a bunch of them and then start cooking you'll cook until golden brown on both sides adding ghee or butter as needed this next step is optional but my mother-in-law introduced me to this buknu masala many years ago and i find it super tasty on rotis and parantas with a little ghee so definitely try this buknu masala enjoy this with masala chai and you have a perfect breakfast the next paranta we're going to be making is an achwain paranta for this we'll add our atta or whole wheat flour to our mixing bowl along with crushed ajwain seeds and red chili powder add salt and ghee or oil give this a little mix before you start adding your water i have a whole video dedicated on how to make the softest rotis and parantas so if you want to see that video just click up here on the right hand corner and we'll make a soft smooth dough slowly adding water as needed basically the dough should look like this your fingers should leave an imprint i did let my dough sit for about 15-20 minutes. I knew that this dough would yield me four parantas so I grabbed a cutter and cut into four pieces and then I just rolled this into balls and then flatten them out. Roll out each paranta to a medium thin thickness. I personally like to keep the size of the ajwain paranta smaller. I just find that ajwain parantas personally taste better when they're smaller. So I'll roll out a bunch of parantas and then on the side my tava or my griddle is heating up. Cook the parantas on both sides until they're golden brown adding oil and butter as needed. Once all of your parantas cook and are golden brown you're ready to enjoy them with masala chai, ginger chai, whatever you like. The last and final paranta recipe I'll leave you with today is avocado paranta. If you're making this for kids, you will need to adjust the spices, but for adults, you will add one avocado to a mixing bowl, atta or whole wheat flour, Give this a little mix, then add in salt, red chili powder, a little all sabji masala or kitchen king or queen masala. Give this a mix and add some ghee or a little oil, water as needed to make a smooth and soft dough. Same step as all the other parantas, you'll take small pieces, roll them into balls and then flatten them to a medium thin thickness. Roll out a couple parantas before you start cooking on the tava or griddle. That way, once you've achieved the perfect heat you can just cook all of your parantas cook until golden brown on both sides adding ghee and butter as needed and your avocado parantas are ready to be devoured these parantas are full of good healthy fats and they taste delicious we enjoyed our avocado parantas with some achar or indian pickle and some yogurt how quick and easy was that three paranta recipes Again, these travel really well, so you can pack them for lunch boxes and take them with you on road trips or if you're traveling by plane. Let me know in the comments if you had any of these parantas and if you've tried these recipes. I'll see you soon in a new video.